Hello, this is Wampire. For today's lesson, we're going to be covering the flail, which is one of the most uh, practical techniques in all of Eskrima. The basics is we're going to be going number one and number two, right? So diagonal down, diagonal down. But to fully make it into a flail, we need to change it instead of an X into a figure eight. So all it is is this and this, that's an X. You make it smoother. So when you make it smoother, you're going to notice that there is a circle over here and there is a circle over here, okay? Because that is what a sideways figure eight is. It's made up of two circles. It's a circle here and a circle over here, okay? So we're going to be using both circles like this so go ahead and start with a figure eight, which before this, like I said, you start with an X, one and two, and then now you just keep doing that X and repeat it until it becomes smoother, like so. And then from here, you can continue the circles individually, and then you chain it with a diagonal line. You always chain it into a diagonal line. So the chain, the diagonal line takes you to the other side to work on the other circle. And here's my diagonal line, and now I'm on this circle. And then this is the diagonal line, and I'm on this circle. Now, to make that more practical, you gotta make contact right here. So we're gonna start with one, two, this is your figure eight, one, and two, you're making contact contact, and now I'm going to stick with that one circle, boom, 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 you hit the head, the arm, the body, and the leg. So those are all considered the same circle, the same line essentially. I'm just changing the height here, here, here. You could also change the technique even though it's the same motion. So I'm still doing the same circle on this side. There. There is two-handed blocking type motion, but it still comes from this. So from here, boom, like this. <laughs> so boom, like that, boom, like that. It's still the same, same circle. And then I could also go boom, into a punch. So that is a punch, but it comes from the same motion. Okay, so whether I'm doing a punch or this, or an actual strike with a stick. Either way, it still comes from this circle. So now I'm gonna go diagonal, and that takes me to the circle over here. So the same idea comes here. So from this circle, boom, boom, leg, body, head, arm, and just keep, keep that motion going. And then of course, I could go right away into a punch. I could go into right here. It's the same, same motion here, where now I'm using both hands like a block, but it's kind of slamming, slamming, jamming at the opponent. So here, back to this side, and this side. Now, let's make it more practical is now we're gonna do the same thing, figure eight motion, but on an extreme high line, okay? So you already been doing head, arm, body, and leg, so you're changing the, the levels, but now we're gonna be working up here. So if you do the figure eight motion up here, boom, boom. Okay, you could still go boom, in the circle motion here, and then that diagonal takes us the circle up here. So why is this important? Why is this so practical? Because like when you go to like your keys, you're gonna, you already have your keys in your hands, guy comes out out of nowhere, and then boom, right here, right into the eyes. This is the high line, that extreme high line, right into the face to create that motion and get out. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care folks.